To create a new web page, log in to OU Campus and click Content in the bar at the top of the page. The page that loads is called the directory, and it's basically a file structure where all of the web pages and their content live. If I wanted to create a new page for the Hartnell HR website, for example, I would go into the HR folder within that directory, and then I would create a new page inside that folder. For the upcoming assignment, you can click to enter the folder titled PDC Training Folder. Now that we're in our practice folder, we can see there's a lot of content that others have created. To make it easier to find our practice page later, let's create our own folder with our first initial, last name. Click the new icon, then select Folder. Enter your first initial last name, then click Create. Your new folder should immediately appear. You can have as many folders as you want. Just keep in mind that every time you create a folder, this adds to the link on your published page. For example, if we create a page called Home within the L. Otero folder, our eventual published link would look like this. This can give you some great visual organization, but just keep in mind that the more folders you add, the longer your link will be. OK, now you're ready to create your new page. Click on the name of your new folder to enter, and then click on the new icon, and select New Interior Page. Add a title for your page here under File Name which is what will show up in your page link. We'll call it home. Make sure it's all lowercase with no spaces. Now enter a title and a brief description of your page and add any helpful tags or keywords that might help people find your page when they're searching the website. Under File Configuration, specify whether or not this page should be added to the menu somewhere. You can specify where later, then click Create. You'll immediately see a new blank page has been created. Editing is pretty straightforward. Just click the pencil icon next to your content to begin making changes. You'll learn more about editing pages in the next lesson. For now, just remember to take a screenshot of your new page so you can submit your assignment on the next page in your course.